Make sure you're outside Storage Room 2 door. Go to New, Character, drag on the female Stormtrooper, turn it around to make sure it's facing outwards. This is going to guard the door. We're going to use speech and a password in order to gain access to the storage room. We're going to create an action to make sure that the Stormtrooper stays outside the door. By default characters will wander around. So go to Actions, Stop, and then Global Trigger, and Start of Games. This means at the very start of the game, the character will just stop and stay where it is, so it won't move. Give the rule a name and accept it. Now we need to create the speech that the character is going to say. So go to New, Media, Speech, give the speech a name, I'm just going to call this Guard Speech. Click in Speech Text to write the speech, just type what is the password. You can click on the play button to hear it, and then the stop button to stop. We need to create another piece of speech. This is what the user will be able to say in order to open the door. So this will be the password. Just call the speech password, and the password will be Orion. So we've now created two pieces of speech we need to attach the guard speech to the guard. Click on the guard, go to actions, say, choose guard speech, then click on the little button, spatial trigger, look at the map, we need to click on the piece of corridor just outside storage room 2, so this piece, click here, The activator is going to be the player. This means when the player enters this piece of corridor, the guard will speak. Give the rule a name, and then you can accept it. The next thing we need to do is attach the password speech to the player. So if we go to my game media and click on the password and then in player list change it to true. This means it will be in a list that the player can choose from. Click back onto the guard and we're going to set an action that will make the guard disappear when the password is spoken. So actions, set in active, speech trigger, and then we have to select a piece of speech, so go to my game, media, and then it's password, so when the password is spoken, if anybody says the password, the guard will disappear. Give the rule a name and then accept it. The final thing we need to do is to set the action that will open the door. So click on the door, actions, open, speech trigger again. We then need to go back to the My Game menu and find the password, click on the password, spoken, so if anyone speaks the password the door will open. So now if anyone speaks the password including the player, the guard will disappear and the door will open. Give the rule a name and then accept it.
We can now test the character on our actions by playing the game. So as we enter the corridor, the guard asks what is the password. The user clicks on the password. The guard disappears and the door opens.